Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We have some new Korra Korra releases to take a look at for the Pokemon Journeys anime. We have some fake images going around about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and as well as that, we have some more potential hints about the Generation 9 games from Pokemon Sword and Shield. So quite a few things to go over today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at the latest Korra Korra leaks for the month of may I do believe it's all to do with the Pokemon Journeys anime, and it's all to do with Ash Greninja, of course. It is now confirmed that Ash Greninja is coming back in the Pokemon Journeys anime. We just had Serena return as well. Um, but yeah, this seems to just be all about like an Ash Greninja, potentially Lucario battle as well. Um, but yeah, this is the only page that we have. It was posted by Poke Experto saying scenes from the Pokemon Journeys anime in the May issue of Koro Koro magazine. So obviously we click on the image, we have Ash up here. Um, I don't know if he's doing like, um, I, I mean, I'm guessing this is something to do with Mega Evolution. We have Mega Lucario there, uh, and then we obviously have Lucario and, and Greninja here meeting. I honestly think it's going to be one of those situations where Ash Greninja fights Mega Lucario, even though it'll be a weird one, because obviously it's the Bond phenomena with Ash, which creates Ash Greninja. So will he be kind of telling them both what to do or what? I'm not really too sure. It'll be an interesting one, though. Be a really, really good battle if that is the case. Um, but yeah, we obviously have Mega Lucario here, and then we have just some text here. Of course, it is all in Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says. And then we have a big picture of Greninja down here. We have him jumping in front of the moon over here, and then we have him very uh, at the bottom. We use we have him like using double team or something like that. So yeah, it does seem to be some sort of fight, I guess, between maybe Lucario and Greninja, or maybe they just both go on Ash's team for a little bit. But I mean, the main thing to take away from the fact is is that Ash Greninja is going to be back in the anime. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a very, very long time. Everything is happening for Ash this uh, this this year. He is obviously getting Mega Evolution, all these different Pokemon returning. His team is ridiculously jacked. Um, it's, it's a really cool series, to be fair. It's, it's, it's crazy as well, because obviously he's just won the Alola League, and now uh, he's getting even more stuff. So I don't know how they're going to really end this series, to be fair, like whether he wins this as well. Who knows? Um, but it is going to be really, really cool to see Ash Greninja back in um, in the anime. So that's the only Korra Korra leaks we have to go over. Again, there might be more pages that are leaked, but there's nothing to do with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, I don't think we'll get Korra Korra leaks about those for a long time. But even when we do, it's usually stuff we already know. Like back in the day, we used to get Korra Korra leaks before like trailers and stuff. But now we get like trailers and then in Korra Korra, we have... Um, what we saw in the trailers basically which is unfortunate because i remember the times of Korra Korra leaking loads of really like new pokemon and stuff like sylveon i think got leaked in Korra Korra and stuff so it would be cool to have those kind of times back but it doesn't seem like that is going to happen anytime soon next up we're going to be talking about this fake leak here so this is by a twitter user known as idubs leaks and he says hello everyone you can refer to me as idubs leaks i'll be here to share some new information on the upcoming games being pokemon scarlet and violet I'm a play tester at Nintendo and have managed to sneak a few images. Contrary to many beliefs, uh, the SV guy is a real leaker. So the SV guy is someone that posted like a bunch of stuff. Um, again, I don't believe them. It's very much just rumor um, situations at the moment. But this person's come out and said the SV guy is a real leaker. My images will confirm what they've said. And then he says the new region is in fact named Vidal, which is of course one of the rumors that the SV guy is talking about. And then this is an image they posted. So I managed to sneak a screenshot of Vadlian Vanillux uh, fighting a Vidalian um, Gudra. The game looks great from what I've seen. So this is the image. Um, it's not real. <laughs> I mean, I'm 99% like sure it's not real. And we'll go over why it's also not real in a minute. But this is the image they posted, which apparently is legit and and we have a, i guess a, a vanillux van, vidalian thing with gudra which looks like a big rabbit i don't think gudra is gonna get back-to-back -back forms the only pokemon that really get back-to-back -back forms are pokemon like meowth and stuff um gudra not so much i'm a, what what is this i, I don't even know <laughs> it's just crazy um but yeah this is apparently pokemon scarlet and violet um on the switch 
um, with with two new forms of Pokemon. And again, I, I don't believe this for a second, and this is why. So Soul Silver Art also tweeted this out. A bunch of laughing emojis and some skull emojis and stuff in response to this tweet. And this is why it's basically fake. Um, so basically, uh, Demi Pokemon tweeted this out. So the SV guy did this poll on the 3rd of April, apparently, um, saying, do you believe in my leaks? Uh, and obviously the options were totally, no, you're 100% fake. I did before, not anymore. And then I'm not sure we'll see. And then iDubbbz leaks replied to it saying, these ain't real, it's a fan fiction. But then comes out and says, the SV guy's real. So... I don't know if the SV guy is this person or what, I'm not sure, but either way, he's contradicting himself completely. He said that it's not real and then goes out of his way to post this real image saying the SV guy's real. So yeah, I've, I've had this image sent to me so much over the last 24 hours, it, is, it, it can't... <laughs> It's not real, like, it's not. Like, if he wouldn't contradict himself like that if this was real. Um, we have people replying to this saying, I think this is the fakest leak I've ever seen. The Switch comes from the OLED reveal trailer. You just edited your picture onto it. And Gudra just received a form. They're not going to give him a, a, a third in, in this uh, short of time. And the most realistic thing I've ever saw in my entire life. You missed April Fool. Uh, Fools by five days. Um, obviously, when it was posted and stuff. So, yeah, if, if you're seeing this image kind of, like, flying around, it, it's not... I mean, the evidence is right there to suggest that it is just not real. Um, so, yeah, that, that, this is the only thing I really wanted to put in this video because a lot of people are thinking it is real. It's not. Um, the last thing we're going to be going over today is this as well. So, this is a potential hint towards Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's not nothing really like groundbreaking and stuff because obviously Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have been confirmed now. Um, but it's still a cool like throwback because we also had that um, throwback in, I think it was like a hotel room or something. We had like loads of oranges and grapes on one of the walls, which obviously a hint to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We don't know what the oranges and grapes are for, whether it's to do with the legendaries or not, we don't know, but they are clearly a big element in um, the Gen 9 games. But anyway, uh, this was tweeted out by Paper Gamer, so shout out to them. And they said, so fun thing I noticed in a playthrough of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the flags for your next goals for the main game and DLCs are red for Scarlet and then purple for Violet and then uh, yellow. So obviously for the main story, you have your red flag. Uh, and then in the Isle of Armor, I do believe it's a yellow flag. And then for the Crown Tundra, you have your purple flag. And of course, they are the colors of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Uh, so, and the logos for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are red and purple and yellow with yellow borders. Another hint, maybe. Um, and then we have people replying. So, Soul Silver Art said, uh, good find, maybe. And then we had Loxton replying, saying, potentially, as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and yellow, uh, well, po as Scarlet, Violet, and yellow are the colors of Saint, uh, Spain's previous flag. And then, yep, I know folks have pointed out these colors as significant for that reason as well. So, yeah, just some nice eagle-eyed um, vision from Paper Gamer kind of noticing this. Again, it could just be a um, coincidence or it could be a hint towards Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Game Freak usually like doing these kind of things um, in previous Pokemon games. You know, we had um, the, the souvenir thing and, and everything for Alola in like Gen 6. Um, and, and yeah, this again could be a coincidence, could be a, a hint towards the Gen 9 games. As well as that, like I say, we had the wallpaper with the oranges and grapes. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really, really helps out. Again, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on um, this? Do you think it has any kind of legitimacy behind it, even though... We've seen the evidence as to why it's not true. You know, it's taken from the OLED trailer. The person that posted it contradicted himself literally a week ago. <laughs> it's just it's just not true. And also, bro, nah, man. This doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Like, neither of these. Like, there's no way anyone's picking this thing at all, you know? And, and this thing, I don't even know what's going on in that situation. But anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on it. But yeah, I'm pretty convinced that it is fake. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Uh, but that's everything from us. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.